While most of my AI research has been focused on visual tasks, I have recently taken a real interest in how machine learning can be applied to audio. And this got me thinking, can full self-driving really be complete without training AI on audio as well as video information? And should Tesla be working on training its cars to hear as well as see the world? Let's think about this. Hey y'all, it's Dr. Know-It-All. As a cyclist as well as a car driver, I know just how important sound, as well as vision and inertial measurements from your body, are to a human's ability to navigate our roads safely. When I'm biking, for example, I depend on hearing cars coming up from behind to alert me and make me more vigilant as they pass. And yes, having cars pass you at over 100 kilometers an hour is always, always scary. As a side note, please be nice to cyclists. We're sitting on less than 10 kilos of aluminum or carbon fiber, and you're driving a multi-ton car. You win, we know this, and we're doing our best to stay out of your way. Of course, when I drive, I also find myself dependent on sound as well. I can hear emergency vehicles coming from behind me well before I can see them. I can hear other cars near me, at least at highway speeds, and I can even hear louder noises from around me in city traffic. This situational awareness just makes me a better driver. And by the way, you are hampering your driving ability if you crank up the music in your car. I know, I do this too, <laughs> but I know I'm reducing my efficacy as a driver when I do. But you say, Teslas have eight cameras, plus sonar, plus radar, plus IMUs to measure how their cars are reacting on the road, plus GPS to tell them exactly where they are. Do they really need sound as well? And how can machine learning AI help with it if they do? Let's start with the is it necessary question. While certainly having 360 degree surround vision makes it less necessary, I would argue that sound is still a critical factor for full self-driving to be as effective as possible, especially in city driving when speeds are low, vision can be blocked, and sounds are more easily heard. In heavy traffic, for example, vision is often just of the cars around you, especially for Tesla's side and rear cameras, which are placed pretty low. Here, a car or a human can hear things that are happening further away than they can see. Thus, being able to hear a sound and to find its directions can provide important information and allow a smart car or human to start to react to an emergent situation much faster than would be possible with vision alone. In addition, the ability to categorize and locate louder sounds around the vehicle provides another channel of information that can help the car to proactively take steps to avoid possible risks. What hardware would be needed? I think just four small microphones at the corners of the car. They can be placed within the camera mounts on the car's sides that already exist. And this will allow a kind of 360 degree view of the surroundings and allow the car to pinpoint where a sound is coming from. And, and really, mics are dirt cheap, so it would add negligible cost to the car. The inference chips already in the cars could easily handle this new low bandwidth data source on top of its current jobs. If Tesla retrofits existing cars with hardware 4, this would be the ideal time to install the microphones as part of the side and rear cameras. In a moment, let's discuss software and training. But first, if you enjoy this video, definitely make sure you like it so other people can find it, because that's the way YouTube's algorithm works. And definitely subscribe if you enjoy this kind of content. We are are actually getting closer and closer to 10,000 subscribers. And I promise if we hit that before the end of the year, I'm gonna give you a nice little gift that I have. One lucky subscriber will win something. Also a big shout out to my patrons on Patreon. I really appreciate all of your support, including a new patron today, Sean Ashment. I hope that's about correct for your last name. A really big thanks to all of you. And as always, a big thanks to Zenly Music for providing the introduction and conclusion music. I really appreciate it. He's great, you should check him out. And of course, if you're thinking about purchasing a Tesla, if you use our referral link in the description and you order a car, you get a thousand free supercharger miles and so do we, which is awesome. Now let's consider what software and training is needed. Here's where things actually get really fun. Like I said in the intro, I'm researching using machine learning for sound identification and processing. It's a fascinating area and really lags behind the whole vision category. I predict big strides in this area in the next few years. What would need to happen with Tesla would be to sort of start over again with driver training, like with vision. You would start with audio simulations in the driving simulator, and then after enough cars with audio are on the road, you could collect the data from the real world and train a neural network to identify these sounds, just like you did with vision. Just like a visual system has to be trained to recognize a stop sign in various conditions, so an audio system would be trained to recognize, say, an ambulance in many conditions. 
as opposed to like a fire truck or a barn owl or a person screaming on the side of the road. I don't know why they would be doing that, but it's good to identify that versus an ambulance. This training can even be associated by timestamp to visual data, allowing for semi-autonomous labeling. In other words, a question like, is this an ambulance? You could then look around at the visual data near this timestamp. Do we see an ambulance? Then if so, label that as a yes, otherwise it's a no. Once a decent model is built, put it out in the fleet in shadow mode and see if it would have alerted the car to an emergent situation earlier. And if so, did it make the right decision? Then go back and retrain it and make it better. Once the model is very good, add it in as an element of the full self-driving package. Then look at driver interventions for mistakes, retrain, redeploy, and so on and so on, just as with the vision system. Eventually, this will become an integral part of the car's full self-driving mode and make the car better at FSD than it could otherwise be. Am I arguing that one needs audio to do full self-driving most of the time? No. On highways where white noise is high, it wouldn't be needed all that often, but sometimes. In open city traffic, it wouldn't be needed all that often, but sometimes. Even in crowded city traffic, it would only be helpful sometimes. But Tesla is chasing the nines right now. They're trying to improve full self-driving to far better than human capability. And there are cases where sound is critical to driving, even with all the other sensors that Teslas have. In order to add another 9 to the 99.99 repeating percent that Tesla is going for, I firmly believe that sound processing, sound identification, and thus reacting to sounds on the road is a critical part of driving the best possible. After all, a large portion of our world is based on sound as well as vision. It can only help full self-driving be better if it hears as well as sees the world. What do you think, Tesla? If you agree with me that it's a critical part of full self-driving, I'm open to head that research department. Just let me know. I'm all ears. Oh, did I seriously just say that? Okay, I hope you enjoyed this episode and found it somewhat informative and thought-provoking. If you did, definitely make sure you like and subscribe. And of course, make sure you ask me questions in the comments or at my email address, which is knows at gmail.com. Till next time, bye-bye.